Clean off the fusion table. Place a piece of stone large enough so the blade will not push the material. Be sure the material is placed somewhat square to the machine. From the main menu, press the setup button. On the setup screen, press the machine setup button. On the machine setup screen, press calibrate blade to nozzle button. Press the down button to bring the nozzle down to just above the stone. Using the pendant, manually jog the machine until the nozzle is over the point where the bottom left corner of the test part will be located on the stone. Once the correct location is achieved, then press the capture corner button to set the X corner and Y corner parameters. Enter the material thickness in the thickness parameter display. Use a caliper to measure if necessary. Press the create file button. Press the run screen button. When the run part dialog box appears, press the yes button. The proper files are loaded into the machine. Once the files are loaded, the run screen automatically opens. Press the cycle start button to cut the test part. Remove the test part. Rinse with water and use air to dry. With the caliper, measure the width of the part. This should measure 8 inches plus 10 thousandths minus 0 for a tolerance. Write this dimension down. Measure all four sides and write down the dimension of each side. These four sides should measure within 15 thousandths of each other. If the part does not meet the specified tolerances, follow the next step. If the tolerances are met, you are finished and ready to cut production. Do not enter any numbers as shown in the following steps. Press the main menu button. Press the setup button. Press the machine setup button. Press the calibrate blade and nozzle button. Press the width button and enter the test part width that you captured earlier. Press any of the X or Y buttons and enter the correct corresponding measurements. Once all of the numbers are entered, press the Calibrate button. Cut one more test part to verify the machine is cutting to the correct tolerance. If the new test part is not within tolerance, enter the new values into the machine. Repeat these steps until the tolerances are met.